Hey, welcome back to the Infamous Mel TV. I want to thank y'all niggas for getting me to that 7K mark. It's something light, but we moving, we moving. In this episode, I will be discussing Richard Peabody Cooper, the notorious Denver Lane Blood and founder of the United Blood Nation in Los Angeles. He was incarcerated for 38 years. In his younger days, he was a young mischief and youth authority, and that's where he met Ryder Mike. He was one of the first youngest active members of the bishops. While in youth authority in Los Angeles, Ryder Mike approached five blacks in a day room quizzing them, asking them where they were from. He went down the line. One said, Rolling 60 Crip. Next guy said, Harlem Crip. Another guy said, Hoover Crip. And one was a Compton Crip. So Ryder Mike assumed the last one was a Crip too. So you a Crip too, huh? Peabody said in a hesitant manner, I'm a Denver Lane. Which happened later to be a cellmate. As they both got back to the cell, Peabody offered Sims, a.k.a. Ryder Mike, to read his court transcripts. One charge read, he was charged with the gas station murder and robbery. And the other charge was a murder of a gangbanger. The transcripts read that Peabody had drawn a casket on the sidewalk with a spray paint and made a crib lay in it. This sent shockwaves throughout the gang community as well as the prison community. In the early 1980s, the Denver Lane Bloods were all known throughout the Los Angeles for the drug trafficking. In 1984, Richard Peabody Cooper used his gang notoriety to unite blood gang members in the Los Angeles Central County Jail. Cooper came up with a concept called UBN, United Blood Nation, in which he would establish a set of rules and regulations that all bloods in a high power module at the Men's Central Jail had to follow. This structure ultimately worked to bring an end to the blood on blood violence. The success of UBN was based on the scale of drugs which smuggled in through his attorney and through other bloods who were paid to bring in heroin and cocaine by getting arrested for minor charges. Cooper established a storefront which every night a certain and equal amount of supplies including narcotics was passed around to each cell. Cooper wanted the UBN to become financially stable enough to ultimately buy or secure their freedom through the use of capable attorneys. Cooper preached to his UBN followers being a blood meant that you was a warrior, soldier, a strong black man. After reviewing a debriefing report from a former UBN member, the black gorilla family may have had a large influence with the constitution of the UBN. The debriefing report identified an individual named John Clutchett as the writer of the constitution. John Clutchett was a comrade of George Lester Jackson, founder of BGF. And while housed with Ronnie, Lil Ron Cooper, younger brother of Richard Peabody Cooper at Folsom Prison, created a constitution that was later forwarded to his brother, Richard Cooper. During the last few years, correctional and custody facilities have noticed a large dropout rate of the UBN members due to Cooper's inconsistent behavior. Cooper has allowed rival prison gangs and destructive groups to take control of major drug deals. Former cellmate Michael Sims, a.k.a. Ryder Mike from Bishops, recalled Peabody's somewhat alloyed behavior years back when Peabody was released from Youth Authority, decades back. Upon Cooper's release, he had given his TV and radio to a little crip named Pinky from Rolling 60 Crip instead of one of his blood relatives. That didn't sit well with many of the bloods. Richard Peabody Cooper has been locked up for the past 40 years. He has now done about 40 of his 123 years in California State Prison. That concludes his brief story about how the UBN was formed by Richard Peabody Cooper. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all niggas stay prayed up. Be safe. Stay dangerous. Summertime is here. Niggas is dying. We out of here. What you gonna do tonight, man? We wanna see your girl? No, I'm gonna see my girl. You going on with this part? There they go right there. Turn off the lights. Hit the lights, nigga.